Ah, uh, hello, and it's a blessed morning to you. Welcome to another wonderful session of Sacred Heart Yoga Prayer. Morning prayers. Your personal prayers, I, I just begin them, but you must finish them with your personal concerns, your heartfelt concerns. Your personal prayers said in the privacy of your own home, spoken aloud to God from your heart. Doing this has absolutely changed my life. It has, uh, the benefits, it's just incredible. I've seen miracles happen in my life, and they're just everyday miracles. And, but they could not have happened without God's intervention. I see it all the time. And that'll happen to you, too. Uh, so we will begin by me saying my personal prayer. God, I thank you for this wonderful method of prayer brought to us through the generations, through the house of Abraham, the house of David, Jesus, his mother Mary, Father Joseph, Mary Magdalene, and Virginia Ellen, who wrote the book, Sacred Heart Yoga, so that anybody in the world can practice this ancient method of prayer anytime, any way they want. Amen. Now, the, there's about 40 different postures as we go through this. Uh, the first two prayers are you repeat after me. From then on, I'll say, and our prayers begin with, and I'll just begin the prayer, but you just need to finish it with your own heartfelt concerns because your walk with God is different from my walk. And I can't tell you what to pray that's concerning to you in your life with your walk. So it's, it's you taking the initiative. And if you do, I promise you, you will never regret it. So the first prayer, if you'll repeat after me, the, the first two, you repeat. God, I devote this practice this day. to the evolution of my soul, to the fulfillment of my destiny, in service to you, O oh God, And I allow myself to be purified of all fears. As I rejoice in your kingdom of heaven and your never-ending love, O oh God. And I give thanks for these blessings. These moments I share with my mind, my body, my spirit, and my soul in oneness with your love, O oh God. And so it is, Amen. Um. Now, we always tone aloud at the end of them, and, and you're supposed to tone aloud, too, before we move on to the next position. Our second prayer that you need, you'll repeat after me, is releasing us of our concerns, our daily Fears, things that we've got to do today. Oh my gosh, I got to get done and I got to get this, got to get to work. I got to get this, I got to get this written, got to get this. 
whatever, you know, it's the goddess. Those are all fears. And fear prevents our ability to love. You cannot be terrified of some tyrant, some person somewhere, and still love them. It just does not happen. Fear removes the love. So here we begin by, it's called clearing our energy fields, and we're clearing it of fears. We do it with emotion. We take our right arm up to the 12 o'clock position, let it fall over to the 9 o'clock position. The, our right knee, no, that's our 3 o'clock position, sorry. 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock, right knee, left knee, 9 o'clock, and then back up to the 12 o'clock position. And as we do this motion, our prayers begin with God, I clear my energy field of anyone or anything standing within. I bless them and I send them into your love, your light, O oh God. Om. Now, from here out, you'll, I'll just begin the prayers and you can finish them any way you want. Sometimes you may not want to add anything. Who knows? Uh, the first one is we ask God, how may we serve you this day? And um, the answer comes to me never more than one or two words. Um, it's often a heartfelt feeling of something that I've got to do. Um, sometimes it's every now and then it's nothing at all. And, and at first I didn't understand any of it, but as I go through, I've learned just to, whether I get nothing, whether I get one or two words, I don't understand why, but I incorporate it in my prayers for the rest of the prayers. And by the time I'm done, I always know what I'm supposed to do this day. So we take our right hands over our hearts, and here our prayers begin with, God, how may I serve you this day? Om. Now we're going to stand up and announce out loud what came to us. We stand up straight and tall, take our palms out forward, and here our prayers begin with, God, my intention to serve you this day is to Um. Now, in Aramaic, we sealed an oath 
by saying the word Amen aloud three times. So here we're going to sing Amen three times. Any tune we want, whatever feels right to us, as loud as we want, all in the privacy of our own homes, our walk with God. Amen. 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 Now we're going to sit back down on the mats, lay down on our backs. And we go into resting position, which is our legs outstretched, our arms comfortably at our sides. And we begin by pulling our right knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we hold our right foot in our left hand, pull it over to our left thigh, let our right knee fall down to the mat, our right arm goes straight up above our heads, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Oh now we switch hands. We take our right foot in our right hand, holding it down near our pelvis. And our left arm this time goes straight above our head, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Oh, now we point our right foot up towards the heavens, holding it with our right hand, left arm still above our head, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true father, I love you and I thank you for Oh, 
Now we let our right leg fall out to the right side of our bodies, opening our pelvis as wide as we can, our knee down to the mat. Our arms get stretched out straight to the sides from our shoulders, down to the mat, our palms are up, and here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you, and I thank you for Um. Now we turn our heads to the right, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. We take our right leg up over, across our bodies, over to the left side, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you, and I thank you for Now we go back to resting position, arms comfortably at our sides, our feet outstretched. And we pull our left knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we hold our left foot in our right hand, pull it over to our right thigh, let our left knee fall down to the mat, and our left arm goes straight above our head, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we swap hands on our foot. We take our left foot in our left hand, hold it down near our pelvis. Our right arm goes stretched out straight above our heads down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with. God, my true mother, I love you, and I thank you for
Om. Now we take our left foot, point it up towards the heavens. And here our prayers begin with. God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we let that left foot fall down to the left side of our bodies, knee down on the mat, our pelvis open as wide as we can, our arms fall straight out to the sides again from our shoulders down to the mat, palms up. And here our prayers begin with God. My true mother, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we turn our heads to the left, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. We take our left leg straight up over across our bodies over to the right side, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we go back to resting position and we pull both knees up to our chest, holding them there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we hold our right foot in our right hand, left foot in our left hand, holding them down near our pelvis. Soles of our feet kind of coming together. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you and I thank you for
Um. Now we pull our feet apart, <clears throat> keeping them down near our pelvis. And here our prayers begin with. God, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we point both feet up <clears throat> towards the heavens, and here our prayers begin with, God, I love you, and I thank you for... Oh. Now we need to let our feet fall down to the mat. Our knees are pointed <coughs> heavenward. <coughs> Excuse me. Our arms <clears throat> get laid straight out to the side from our chest. This time our palms are down instead of up. And our knees, we, we take our heads and turn them to the left, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. We move our knees over to the right side, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we turn our heads to the right, our knees go over to the left side of our bodies, down to the mat, our shoulders down flat on the mat, and here our prayers begin with, God, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we take our legs, extend them straight out to, and go back to resting position. <clears throat> the next pose is for a second time, we're going to try to Release our fears. Here it's called surrender our fears to God. We do this by putting our hands under our sit bones, 
leaning forward on our elbows and trying to touch the tops of our heads back down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, I surrender to you. Um. Now we take our left hand reaching for the sky and let it fall over to our right side of our body, stretching our left shoulder and back. And we stretch it a little farther by pulling our, getting our right hand halfway between our left elbow, left shoulder. And here our prayers begin with, God, in your name, I choose to. Um. Now we reach for the heavens with our right hand. Let it fall over to the left side of our bodies down to, uh, towards the mat, stretching our right shoulder this time. And we take our left hand halfway between our right shoulder, right elbow, stretching our backs farther. And here our prayers begin with, God, in your name, I can. Um. Now we <clears throat> take our arms down to our sides, legs outstretched in resting position. We pull both feet up to our pelvis on the mat, our knees fall out to the sides. And this forms a triangle below our bodies, and, and it's a tabernacle, it's a house of God. We form a second tabernacle above our hearts by taking our, our hands in prayer position over our hearts, extending them up two-thirds of the way up to the heavens. And in this house of God, this tabernacle of our hearts, we find God's beautiful chalice, brimming over with anything we could ever desire, want, or need in ser used in, in service to God. And the truth is, as long as we use it only in service to God, we'll keep it forever. If we use it for our own benefit, we'll, we'll lose it. 
So here our prayers begin with, God, I drink from your chalice, your gifts to me of Um, now we take our hands in prayer position over the tops of our heads, elbows out to the sides, and this forms a tabernacle, a house of God over our entire bodies. Our hands are at the tops of our heads down to the mat. So here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for healing my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul. Um, now we're going to start what's called the anointing series, and it's four prayers, and our hands are in four different prayer positions, but we repeat the same four prayers three times, and it's all about acknowledging and thanking God for the gifts that he's given us this lifetime. So we begin, and keeping our hands in prayer position the whole while, we begin by touching our thumbs to our lips, and our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um, now we take our hands in prayer position down to our lips, and here our prayers begin with, God, I bless, dedicating them only in service, into your service, your gifts to me of Um, now we take our hands down over our hearts, keeping them in prayer position, and our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for your gifts of Um, now the fourth prayer 
we do a motion with our hands as we, we do our fourth prayer of each of the three sets. We point our fingers down into our abdomens, keeping our hands in prayer position, extend them right to above our pelvis at the three o'clock position, go counterclockwise towards the heavens at the 12 o'clock position, and back down to the nine o'clock position, down over the tops of our heads, down to the mat. And here <coughs> our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Om. Now we take and we do the second set we take our thumbs back to our foreheads and our prayers begin with god i anoint your gifts of Um. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with, God, I bless and I will always dedicate them only into your service, your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our hands down over our hearts in prayer position and our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for your gifts of Um, now we <clears throat> point our fingers down into our abdomens, extend them out to the three o'clock, 12 o'clock, nine o'clock positions. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts of Oh. 
Om. Now we're going to begin the third set in the anointing series. We take our thumbs back to our foreheads and our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um, now we take our thumbs down to our lips and here our prayers begin with God I bless and I will dedicate them only into your service your gifts to me of Um, now we take our hands down over our hearts in prayer position and hear our prayers begin with God I truly thank you for these gifts of Um, now we take uh, and point our fingers down into our abdomens, extend our fingers out to the 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock positions. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Um, now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides. And we cross our right leg, our right ankle over our left ankle, our right wrist over our left wrist over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for always protecting me, for keeping me safe. Um, oh. 
Now we roll over on our sides and push ourselves back up into sitting position using our arms and our hands. Now we extend our right leg straight out in front of us, knee down to the mat. Our left foot goes across our right knee over to the left. Our left foot goes over our right knee over to the right side of our bodies. We hold our left knee with our right arm. And our left arm goes behind our backs for support. Twisting our head, our shoulders, and our backs to the left. Here our prayers begin with. Desire I am, desire I am, desire I am. God, in your name, I desire to. Om. Now we take our left foot straight out in front of us. Our right foot goes across our left knee over to the left side of our bodies. We hold our Right knee with our left arm. Our right arm goes behind our backs for support. Twist our heads, our shoulders, and our backs to the right. And here our prayers begin with. Will I am, will I am, will I am. God, in your name, I will. Om. Now we get up on our knees. <laughs> We put our hands over our hearts in prayer position. And here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for
Now we form a tabernacle with our hands by putting <clears throat> tips of our finger, first fingers together, the tips of our thumbs together. <clears throat> with, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> That's why my voice crackles is <clears throat> just a little bit of a cough, a little bit of stuff coming up. So here we put this tabernacle formed by our hands down on the mat. And we're going to lean over with our foreheads in this tabernacle and just take a moment to feel God's presence everywhere around us. To feel God's love entering and healing every cell in our bodies. Um. Now we go back to sitting position. <clears throat> this time we extend our right leg out to the right side of our bodies. Our right knee goes down to the mat. Our left foot comes up to the inside of our right thigh. And here our prayers begin with God in your name I will become Um. Now we let our left leg go out to the left side, down to the mat, knee down to the mat. Our right foot comes up to the inside of our left thigh. And here our prayers begin with, God, in your name. I am. Um. 
Now we go back to sitting position. This time we sit straight and tall, our back straight. Our hands are on our knees, our, our thumbs are touching our middle two fingers. And with our back straight, we bow forward at our pelvis. And here our prayers begin with, I thank you, God, for healing my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul. Um. Now, keeping our back straight, we bow forward a second time. And this time, our prayers begin with, I bow to you, God, my true father, my true mother, the one, the oneness. Um. Now we sit back up straight and tall a third time, and we feel where we're grounded, the pel our pelvis, to the right side and left side of our pelvis, grounded to the mat. On the left side of our pelvis, we feel God's white light of love entering our bodies. Filling our legs to the fullest, every cell in our legs to the tips of our toes, and it comes up and fills every cell in our abdomens, comes up into our chest, filling every cell in our hearts and our lungs, and it goes out and fills every cell in our arms to the tips of our fingers, and it comes up through our throats into our minds, filling every cell in our minds with God's love, goes out the tops of our heads and extends up into the heavens as high as we can imagine. And it billows out, it rolls out around the whole earth. God's white light, God's love, and it rains down upon every living creature. Now we feel on the right side of our pelvis, God's beautiful blue light of truth. God's blue light fills our legs to the fullest, to the tips of our toes. It fills every cell in our abdomens, every single organ. It fills our hearts and our lungs and extends out into our arms. God's truth out to the tips of our fingers. The blue light comes up to our throats and into our minds, filling our minds with the truth of God. Now it goes out the tops of our heads and goes up, shoots up high into the skies and billows out. It rolls out in all directions, covering the whole earth with God's truth, and it rains down upon every living creature. Now we can step up into the light above our heads, ask anything we want, but the one thing we should always ask before we leaving is, God, what do I need to know this day? <laughs> 